A prominent Episcopal school in New York City is standing by its decision to publish an inclusive language guide after the document received criticism for, among other things, encouraging students to refrain from using terms such as mom and dad. The Grace Church School, a private Manhattan Episcopal school serving 770 students in junior kindergarten grade 12, published an inclusive language guide to address ways we can remove harmful assumptions from the way we interact with each other. The 12-page guide suggests students and teachers use alternatives to gender-specific words and phrases as well as other terms it sees as problematic. The guide prompted considerable backlash, causing the head of the school, George P. Davison, to issue a statement. Policing language demonstrates more concern for getting a community to use the right words than for cultivating a sense of belonging for its members, George said in part. That is why our inclusive language guide does not ban any words. After defending the guide as a necessary instrument to give us all words that will bring people together, Davison indicated that Grace Church School, which has a tuition rate of more than $57,000 per year, has no intention of abandoning it. So if the boorish cancel culture press wants to condemn us a newly dubbed Walk Noho School of Politeness, dignity and respect then i embrace it and i hope you will too he asserted the guide begins with a push to encourage students to use gender inclusive language to provide critical affirmation to students across the gender spectrum it asks students and staff to refrain from using terms such as boys and girls guys and ladies and gentlemen and instead use gender neutral terms such as people folks friends, readers, and mathematicians. Additionally, the guide takes issue with the use of sweetheart, honey, similar pet names, which are often used to address people of both genders. The term hermaphrodite and transsexual, transvestite, crossdresser are singled out as outdated terms, stressing the importance of not making assumptions about who kids live with. Members of the Grace Church school community are argued to abandon the use of the terms mom and dad in favor of grown-ups, folks, or family. The affirmation gender-neutral terms are also cited as favorable alternatives to the term parents along with guardians. The idea of the traditional family is described as an outdated term because each family is unique. The guide also treats the terms husband, wife, boyfriend, and girlfriend as problematic, instead advocating for the use of spouse, partner, significant other, asserting that human sexuality exists across a spectrum. The guide instructs students to avoid using heteronormative assumptions and identifies phrases such as ladies, man, boys will love those eyelashes, and your mom and dad must be so proud as problematic. If someone says a boy can't marry a boy or a girl can't marry a girl, students are advised to respond by saying people can love and commit to whomever they please. It's their choice who they marry. Students are also being taught to reject the belief that sexual orientation is a choice rather than an identity and to affirm who we love are attracted to is part of who we are. Much like Senator Mazi Hirono D. Hawaii, who during the confirmation hearings of Ami Coney Barrett, who is now an associate justice on the U.S. Supreme Court, the school deems the terms sexual preference and homosexual as outdated. While the guide firmly rejects the idea that sexual orientation is a choice, it implies that a person has the ability to choose their race or ethnicity. Students are encouraged to ask their classmates how they self-identify as opposed to asking what race are you. Additionally, the guide rejects the idea that people can be 
colorblind as it pertains to race because we see the skin tones of people and assumptions are made about how someone identifies racially. The guide even objects to the phrase happy holidays, often touted as an inclusive alternative to Merry Christmas, which is also listed as problematic phrase. Instead, students are encouraged to tell their classmates, have a great break. The guide concludes with a glossary of identity and shared value terms that include words and phrases such as anti-racism, equity, institutional racism, intersectionality, microaggression, and race. Links to videos about gender identity and pronouns, race, nationality, and ethnicity, anti-racism, white privilege, and the implicit bias are also included throughout the guide. This is crazy. I never knew that being uh, inclusive means accepting sin and calling it good and devising means on how to incorporate sin in our day-to-day -day life. It's such a shame that this is a school that is deemed as a Christian school because there is nothing Christian about all this that they are doing really. It's not biblical, it's against the word of God just to please humans, to please, to please what the world deems to be right. Just because something is called right by the world, it does not become right in the eyes of God. Honestly, it's, it's sad that this school is named a Christian school. It seems that school is run by people who are, or who are not Christians but posing off as Christians just so they can misguide and mislead. Because to start saying that uh, telling someone happy, happy holiday is misleading so you need to tell them have a nice break. This is so crazy my friends. I don't even know how this goes down people's brain because i feel like it's much harder to even to even imagine that it needs the word of god is so simple that you need someone to help you misunderstand it god is extremely clear that you need someone to help you confuse you like what these guys are doing with all this confusing us no more boys and girls now you have to save them and that like christ just crazy now you can no longer say your mama is so proud of you. Your parents must you know you. You can't say your mom and dad must be proud because apparently that's exclusive. You have to say they, they. It's just crazy. And regardless of how well they organize this whole agenda, it still remains a sin before God. God made us male and female. He was not confused. Just because you decide you want to be called a male, it does not make you a male. Even those who have undergone surgery, then they still look like males. Even when they underwent surgery to, to look to appear like women, they still look like males. We need to God help us. May the Lord help us. Because where we are headed, God will be much nice. God must have been very where we are headed if god does not punish us like some people love to say he will end up apologizing to sodom and gomorrah because i believe we are way worse than how sodom and gomorrah was because at least sodom and gomorrah knew they were living sin unlike us who are trying to equalize sin in constitutions and make it look like the norm and condemn those who do the right thing Jesus comes soon. I think we are ready because where we're going, it's getting even more terrible by the day.